Some 2500 years ago, Lord Buddha appeared in this world and taught three levels of teachings renowned as Shravaka, Mahayana and Vajrayana. Vajrayana, which includes profound skillful means for the swift attainment of enlightenment, was imparted exclusively to a selected group of worthy recipients, while the other teachings were propagated far and wide. On the verge of passing into Parinirvana, the Buddha foretold the coming of Padmasambhava, a great spiritual master who would serve as the chief propagator of the Bajrayana teachings. Padmasambhava, or Guru Rinpoche, was an emanation of Buddha himself and was miraculously born within a lotus in the country of Udiyana. In accordance with the Buddha's prophecy, Padmasambhava spread the Vajrayana teachings and Tantric rituals throughout India, Nepal, Tibet, Bhutan, and many other countries by means of a lineage of concealed Dharma treasures or Thermas, as well as through a lineage of transmission from master to disciple, Guru Rinpoche's legacy and instructions on the innermost essence of Buddhism remain alive today. A Tirthon, or treasure revealer, is a reincarnation of one of Guru Rinpoche's close disciples and therefore is an emissary of Padmasambhava himself. Therma teachings were hidden by Padmasambhava in the earth, in caves, in the sky, and in the minds of his original close disciples. Guru Rinpoche then sealed these individual treasures with a sacred prayer that they should be revealed by a Tirthon at specific time in the future for the benefit of ensuing generations. Chogyur Dechen Lingpa I, who appeared in this world in 1829, was just such an incarnated Tirthon. Born in Ngangchen, eastern Tibet, he was the 13th reincarnation of Trisong Dechen's son, Lase Lotsawa, who incarnated 13 consecutive times as a Tirthon. Centuries earlier, Padmasambhava had prophesied Chokyur Dechen Lingpa's name, birthplace, the chief recipients of his revealed teachings and the great effect his propagated teachings would have on the world. Chogyur Dechen Lingpa shared a very close and strong spiritual relationship with Jamyang Kenche Wangpo and Jamguang Kontrul Lodro Thai. At the age of 27, he presented a satyr of the Tuktuk Parse Kunsil to Jamyang Kenche Wangpo, who announced that he had himself received almost an identical text in the form of a Gongter mind treasure. The two termas were combined into the Chuttu Parse Kunsel, and the terma is hence common to both lamas. Subsequently, Chogyu Dechen Lingpa discovered many termas that are gathered into the cycle known as the Chokling Tersar, a compilation of more than 40 volumes of empowerments, textual authorizations, and oral instructions formerly concealed by Padmasambhava. These therma treasures have had an immense impact on Vajrayana Buddhism in the 150 years that followed and are, to this day, widely practiced throughout the world. This is mainly because the 14th Karmapa was the treasure master for the thermas discovered by Chogyur Dechen Lingpa, and he widely propagated the teachings that Terchen Chokyu Dechen Lingpa revealed. Born in 1953, Luntok Gyatso, the second eldest son of Gyapche Tuku Urgen Rinpoche and Mayom Konsang Dechen, was recognized by His Holiness, the 16th Gyalwang Karmapa, as the fourth reincarnation of Terchen Chokyu Dechen Lingpa and given the name Mingyur Dewe Dorje, formerly known both as the Kela Chokling and as Chike Chokling. 
In 1959, Tiki Tukling Rinpoche and his older brother Choki Nima Rinpoche enrolled at the Young Lama School in Dalhousie, India. At the age of 11, Chiki Chokling Rinpoche and his older brother Choki Nima Rinpoche returned to Sikkim and entered Rumtek Shetrap Chokurling Monastery, the residence of His Holiness 16th Karmapa Rangjung Rikpe Dorje, where they embarked on their advanced monastic education from Kapche Tenga Rinpoche, Kenchen Tangu Rinpoche, Kewang Topka Rinpoche, his Eminence Kalu Rinpoche, Kunu Lama Tenzing Gyalsan Rinpoche, and other great Rinpoche masters. While at Rumtek, Chike Chokling Rinpoche completed an arduous course of studies under the guidance of numerous outstanding Buddhist masters headed by His Holiness the 16th Karmapa. He studied Buddhist philosophy mastered the detailed training in Vajrayana rituals, and perfected the six doctrines of Naropa. In addition, Chike Chokling Rinpoche received the essential Mahamudra instructions, Nyingma Kama and Tema empowerments and transmissions, and Chokling Tersar, from His Holiness the 16th Karmapa, Gyabje Duzum Rinpoche, His Holiness Dulgo Kenche Rinpoche, and from his late father, Kapchutulku Urgen Rinpoche. He venerated His Holiness Dulgo Kenche Rinpoche as his root gurus, and Dulgo Kenche Rinpoche accepted him as his heart son. Chike Chokling Rinpoche received empowerments, transmissions, and peace instructions from His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, Kapje Duzum Jigdrel Yese Dorje, Kapje Penor Rinpoche, Kapje Shakya Trichen Rinpoche, Kapje Minling Trichen Rinpoche, Kapje Taklung Chetrul Rinpoche, Kapje Taklung Shabdrung Rinpoche, Kapje Chogye Trichen Rinpoche, Kapje Trushik Rinpoche, Kunu Lama Tenzing Gyalsen, the Buddhist Lama Sonam Zangpo, Kapje Ninang Pao Rinpoche, Kenchen Pema Chewang, and Kempo Dazer. In 1974, at the age of 21, Chike Chokling Rinpoche and Choki Nima Rinpoche left Rumtek and embarked on an overland journey to Kathmandu, where they reunited with their parents. As a family, they followed the command of His Holiness the 16th Karmapa and overcame the hardship to build one of the Nepal's largest monasteries, Kanyang Shetrubling, which was subsequently inaugurated by His Majesty King Virendra Vir Vikram Shah and consecrated by His Holiness the 16th Karmapa in 1976. Additionally, Chike Chokling Rinpoche aided in the establishment of Nagi Thongsa Ling Nunnery and Asura Retreat Hermitage, as well as establishing several foreign dharma centers where he would protect the teaching and beings by conferring empowerments, transmissions, and oral instructions. Rinpoche also began the construction of the precious Liberation Upon Seeing Palace of Sandok Parli, near the holy site of Bajrabarahi. Chike Chokling Rinpoche was a Tirton, treasure revealer, and a yogi with a happy family. Besides Chokin Yama Rinpoche, he also had two brothers named Chokni Rinpoche and Mingyu Rinpoche. Rinpoche was married to Sangyum Dechen Paldon, and they had four children. Their elder son is Riwoche Kapgun Pakchok Rinpoche, and their younger son is Urgen Tenzin Jigme Lundruk, the reincarnation of Kapje Dugo Kenche Rinpoche. Their elder daughter is Mingyur Paldon, and their younger daughter is Kalsang Bhuti. Chike Chokling Rinpoche resided in Kanyang Shetubling Monastery, where he held the position of Bajra Master presiding over the integrate and powerful Bajrayana rituals 
performed for the benefit of the monastic community as well as for the lay congregation. Having taken rebirth in order to continue the activities of Chokyur Techen Lingpa that benefit both the teachings and beings, Chike Chokling Rinpoche engaged unwaveringly in the three spheres of study, practice, and service. In 1992, at Kanyang Shudubling Monastery, Chike Chokling Rinpoche bestowed the full cycle of empowerment and transmissions of Chokyur Lingpa's profound treasures. Again in 1996, Rinpoche bestowed the Chokling Therma transmissions, empowerments and oral instructions at Benchen Monastery. In 2010, he offered the Chokling Tersar empowerments and transmissions to His Holiness 17th Karmapa, Trinle Thai Dorje, in Delhi. In the fourth Tibetan month of 2013, Chike Chokling Rinpoche bestowed the complete empowerment and transmissions of Terton Jatson Nyingpo. At Kanyang Shudubling Monastery in the 11th Tibetan month of 2016, Rinpoche bestowed the complete cycle of the Tutru Parche Kunsal empowerments and reading transmissions of the Sheltham, Nyingjang, and preliminary practice instructions. In all, Chike Chokling Rinpoche bestowed the complete cycle of Chokling treasures three times. With the advancement of technology, Rinpoche had the entire 40 volume collection of Terton Chokyur Dechen Lingpa's works digitally entered and published. Additionally, Rinpoche traveled frequently from the east to the west, establishing a multitude of disciples on the path of ripening and liberation, propagating the associated empowerments, transmissions, and oral instructions of the three roots. Throughout his life, he contributed infinitely to the benefit of all sentient beings. Therefore, his countless disciples have immeasurable devotion toward him. In 2017, while in Singapore, Chike Chokling Rinpoche developed a severe illness. At 10.12 a.m. on December 18, 2020, in the Iron Bird year, at the age of 68, Rinpoche entered Parinirvana in the presence of family members. Rinpoche entered the state of Thuktam, an intermediate meditative state practiced by Buddhist masters during the intermediate post date period. For seven days, Rinpoche remained in the great expanse of pristine wisdom. The signs of the passing of the great Bodhisattva as described in the ocean-like texts of Sutra and Tantra appeared. The sky was completely clear. The ground was free of dust. A ring encircled the sun, and rainbow lights decorated the sky. These and other marvelous signs appeared to all those present. In January 2021, on the 17th day of the first Tibetan month, the liberation upon seeing Kudung Rinpoche was flown to Nepal, where Rinpoche's sacred remains were welcomed at Kanyang Shudrubling Monastery by an offering cloud-like procession of lamas and monastics, followed by extensive ceremonies and offerings. Rinpoche's Kudung will be cremated at Kanyang Shudrubling Monastery on February 24, 2023. We prostrate and make offerings in endless gratitude to Chike Chokling Rinpoche and make aspirations for the tradition of Chokyur Dechen Lingpa to remain steadfast and unbroken for the benefit of all sentient beings. Let us all pray one pointedly for his swift reincarnation so that all of us, his devoted disciples, have the opportunity to meet the Dharma and become enlightened. <laughs>